In the following videos, we are going to demonstrate the proper joint installation of three different types of concrete pipe, including a tongue and groove with mastic, a single offset joint with a profile gasket, and a confined O-ring joint with an O-ring gasket. Let's start with the installation of a tongue and groove joint using butyl mastic. There are various types of joint material for the tongue and groove joint, including butyl mastic, bitumen mastic, and mastic tar. First, to ensure proper sealing of the joint, it is very important that the spigot and the bell are clean and free of any dirt and debris that would keep the pipe from sealing properly. A stiff brush is the common tool for such cleaning. Once the bell and spigot have been properly cleaned, the joint sealant can be applied to the spigot. Apply the sealant to the leading edge of the spigot without stretching the sealant or overlapping the ends. Ideally, the seam would be located at 3 o'clock or 9 o'clock. The joint material will smear evenly into the joint when the pipes are homed together. Remove the backing off the mastic once pipe is in position to be belled. If necessary, a joint primer can be applied to improve sealant adhesion. When belling the joint, it is critical that the two pieces of pipe are aligned straight with each other and not angled in any direction as damage to the pipe or sealant could occur. The butyl mastic should smear evenly during the joining process. An alternative method is to use bitumen mastic. This material comes in strips and should be installed at the top of the spigot and the bottom of the bell. The mastic should be overlapped slightly or tightly butted up to ensure proper sealant installation. Yet another method is to use a trowelable mastic. This material would be brushed on and should cover the entire spigot. In this section, we are going to demonstrate the installation of a single offset joint using a profile gasket. After cleaning, the rubber gasket can be installed. When installing the gasket, make sure that the stripe is facing out toward the end of the spigot and the ridges are against the pipe. Make sure the gasket is against the first step on the spigot around the entire circumference and not on the shoulder. To ensure uniform stretch of the installed gasket, insert a clean round metal object such as a screwdriver under the gasket base and complete at least one to one and a half revolutions around the gasket. Equalizing the gasket stretch ensures that there is a consistent gasket profile over the entire circumference of the joint. Be sure the bell is clean. Now apply a liberal amount of joint lube provided by the manufacturer inside the bell and make sure the leading edge of the bell is lubed as well. It is not recommended to lube the spigot or gasket as this can result in the gasket rolling during the joining process. When belling the joint, it is critical that the two pieces of pipe are aligned straight with each other and not angled in any direction or damages to the pipe or gasket could occur. Ensure the gasket touches the lead-in taper around the entire circumference before pushing the pipe home, making sure the gasket does not roll during the belling process. In the final video, we are going to demonstrate the installation of a confined O-ring joint using an O-ring gasket. After cleaning, the rubber gasket can be installed. Apply a liberal amount of joint lube provided by the manufacturer to both the bell and spigot ends, ensuring that the gasket groove is also lubed adequately. Apply approved pipe joint lubricant to the O-ring gasket as well before it is installed on the spigot. Next, stretch the gasket around the spigot and into the groove. To ensure uniform stretch of the installed gasket, insert a clean round metal object, such as a screwdriver, under the gasket base and complete at least one to one and a half revolutions around the gasket. Equalizing the gasket stretch ensures that there is a consistent gasket profile over the entire circumference of the joint. When belling the joint, it is critical that the two pieces of pipe are aligned straight with each other and not angled in any direction or damages to the pipe or gasket could occur. Ensure the gasket touches the lead-in taper around the entire circumference before pushing the pipe home making sure the gasket remains in the groove during the belling process. The above methods may vary slightly contingent upon your local standards and regulations. For example, 
Some areas may require a joint wrap on the exterior of the pipe. Gaskets should be stored out of the elements, including direct sunlight, and protected from extreme temperatures to ensure that the gasket will function properly. It should be noted that there are various types of gaskets. Installers should confirm that the specified material is on-site prior to the start of installation.